Have you heard about multiverse? I think you will understand it in Marvel series. Similarly, we have another concept in our real world that is metaverse. Yes, Facebook has announced to release new metaverse product under virtual reality business and that is why Facebook changes his name to Meta. Mark Zuckerberg announced company rebrand as it moved to the metaverse. Are you wondering? Don't worry. Today we are going to talk about what is metaverse, how long it can become a reality for all of us, and how our life is going to be changed in the future. So without getting further delay, let's get started. Welcome back to all of you on my channel. This is Samiruddin and you are watching Samiruddin Consultancy YouTube channel. The interest of the people regarding the metaverse are growing within a few months. But guys, what is metaverse and what you can expect from it to the upcoming years and how it is going to be change our life. We are going to understand all concept very easily. So first of all what is metaverse you can think it as a copy of real world a copy of the universe and we are going to build it by ourselves that will be totally virtual and the companies working on the metaverse will make it possible so let's see in the upcoming years how it is going to change the life Recently Facebook has declared itself a metaverse company which means it will develop technologies that will be used inside the metaverse Now I am going to show you a clip in which Mark Zuckerberg has explained the whole concept very easily So let's watch the video has an incredibly inspiring view of whatever you find most beautiful Hey are you coming Yeah, just got to find something to wear. All right. Perfect. Ooh, <laughs> oh, hey Mark. Hey, what's going on? Hey, Hi. Mark. It's up, Mark. Whoa, we're floating in space. Huh? Who made this place? It's awesome. Right? It's from a crater. I met in LA. Uh, this place is Amazing. <laughs> Boss, is that you? Of course it's me. You know I had to be the robot, man. I thought I was supposed to be the robot. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I knew you were bluffing. <laughs> hey, wait. Where is Naomi? Let's yes, call her. Naomi. <laughs> hey, should we deal you in? Sorry, I'm running late, but you've got to see what we're checking out. There's an artist going around Soho hiding AR pieces for people to find. 3D street art? That's cool. Send that link over so we can all look at it. This is stunning. Okay, that is something. It's awesome. Wow. I love the movement. Wait, it's it's disappearing. This is amazing. Hold on. I'll tip the artist and they'll extend it. Wow. Brilliant. If you guys like it here, I have another image you're going to love. Check out this forest room. Huh, let's see it. Koi fish that fly? That's new. This is wild. Hey, one sec, Boz. It's Priscilla. Hey, you have to see this beast is going crazy. Oh, I love that guy. We've got to show that to the kids. Can you also send that to my dad? I'll message him. All right, see you at home. This place is great, Boz, but there's something I got to get back to. All right, so that's a glimpse of a few ways that we're going to be able to get together and socialize in the metaverse. It's a ways off, but you can start to see some of the fundamental building blocks take shape. First, the feeling of presence. This is the defining quality of the metaverse. You're going to really feel like you're there with other people. You'll see their facial expressions, you'll see their body language, maybe figure out if they're actually holding a winning hand. All the subtle ways that we communicate that today's technology can't quite deliver. Next, there are avatars, and that's how we're going to represent ourselves in the metaverse. Avatars will be as common as profile pictures today, but instead of a static image, they're going to be living 3D representations of you. 
your expressions, your gestures, that are gonna make interactions much richer than anything that's possible online today. You'll probably have a photorealistic avatar for work, a stylized one for hanging out, and maybe even a fantasy one for gaming. You're gonna have a wardrobe of virtual clothes for different occasions, designed by different creators and from different apps and experiences. Importantly, you, know, you should be able to bring your avatar and digital items across different apps and experiences in the metaverse. Beyond avatars, there is your home space. You're going to be able to design it to look the way you want, maybe put up your own pictures and videos and store your digital goods. You're going to be able to invite people over, play games and hang out. Uh, you'll also even have a home office where you can work. Your home is your personal space from which you can teleport to anywhere you want. Now, speaking of teleporting, there are gonna be all kinds of different spaces that people make. Rooms like the ones that we just saw, but also games and whole worlds that you can teleport in and out of whenever you want. Teleporting around the metaverse is gonna be like clicking a link on the internet. It's an open standard. In order to unlock the potential of the metaverse, there needs to be interoperability. And that goes beyond just taking your avatar and digital items across different apps and experiences, which we are already building an API to support. You want to know that when you buy something or create something, that your items will be useful in a lot of contexts and you're not going to be locked into one world or platform. You want to know that you own your items, not a platform. And this is going to require not just technical work, like some of the important projects that are going on around crypto and NFTs in the community now. It's also going to take ecosystem building, norm setting, and new forms of governance. And this is something that we're really going to focus on. Privacy and safety need to be built into the metaverse from day one. You'll get to decide when you want to be with other people, when you want to block someone from appearing in your space, or when you want to take a break and teleport to a private bubble to be alone. You're going to be able to bring things from the physical world into the metaverse. Almost any type of media that can be represented digitally, photos, videos, art, music, movies, books, games, you name it. Now, lots of things that are physical today, like screens, will just be able to be holograms in the future. You won't need a physical TV. It'll just be a $1 hologram from some high school kid halfway across the world. And you'll be able to take your items and project them into the physical world as holograms and augmented reality too. You're gonna to be able to move across these different experiences on all kinds of different devices, sometimes using virtual reality so you're fully immersed, sometimes using augmented reality glasses so you can be present in the physical world as well, and sometimes on a computer or phone so you can quickly jump into the metaverse from existing platforms. There are gonna be new ways of interacting with devices that are much more natural. Instead of typing or tapping, you're gonna be able to gesture with your hands, say a few words, or even just make things happen by thinking about them. Your devices won't be the focal point of your attention anymore. Instead of getting in the way, they're gonna give you a sense of presence in the new experiences that you're having and the people who you're with. And these are some of the basic concepts for the metaverse. And, and while this may sound like science fiction, we're starting to see a lot of these technologies coming together. In the next five or 10 years, a lot of this is going to be mainstream. And a lot of us will be creating and inhabiting worlds that are just as detailed and convincing as this one on a daily basis. So even though it's still a long way off, we're starting to work on some of these foundational concepts today. Horizon is the social platform that we're building for people to create and interact in the metaverse. One part of this is Horizon Home, which is our early vision for a home space in the metaverse. Horizon Home is the first thing that you'll see when you put on your Quest headset. Today, there are already a bunch of options to choose from, and in the future, anyone will be able to create one. We've just called it Home until now because it's been missing something very important, people. Soon, we're going to be introducing a social version of Home where you can invite your friends to join you as avatars. You'll be able to hang out, watch videos together, and jump into apps together. Then there is Horizon Worlds, which is where you can build worlds and jump into them with people. Horizon is designed to make it possible for everyone to create, 
and we're already seeing people build some really interesting experiences, from creating new games together, to throwing surprise parties in VR that family and friends around the world can join. We started rolling out Horizon Worlds in beta last year, and we're adding more people and more worlds every day. And we also just launched Horizon Workrooms earlier this year for collaboration. Beyond Horizon, we're also making it easier to communicate with your friends across different layers of reality. This year, we're bringing messenger calls to virtual reality. You're gonna be able to invite your friends to a messenger call, and soon you'll be able to explore somewhere together or join a game. Now, these are the kinds of tools that need to get built so that you can jump into the metaverse with your friends from anywhere. And they're gonna unlock some pretty amazing experiences. Hope you liked the video clip. Apart from that, Facebook also admits that the metaverse won't be built overnight and many of the products will only be fully realized by the next couple of years. But Facebook says it needs to work. So these are the concept of metaverse. I hope you understand now what is metaverse and how it is going to change our lives. If you have any question, please tell me in the comment section and if you want to develop your business website or do you want to WordPress training free of cost, then you can contact me at given email id. See you in the next video. Till then, thanks for watching. Good luck and goodbye.